Hello, hello, hello. Today I am actually creating a video uh, because I had a check engine light uh, come on the dash um, on the instrument cluster. So I'm just going to check that out. Just wanted to go through it with you guys um, and show you what I use. So that's going to be today's video. All right, so today I will be using the um, iCarSoft scanner tool. And that's what uh, I use to check codes, reset oil lights, et cetera, et cetera. There's a couple videos I've done um, with this. So uh, right now I just, I plugged it in down there. I haven't plugged it into the, the scanner. I'm gonna go ahead and turn, well, I'm gonna plug it in first. So it's in, it's starting. I'll move the, I'm gonna move this to the on position. And so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna just hit okay for the diagnose. Uh, I'm gonna use the OBD2 because it's just a general, it's usually for codes. That fail always comes up. It's because it, I think it's a different system or something. So don't worry about that as far as I know. Just hit okay, we're gonna hit read codes. ECU one, generic code. System two rich, bank two. So that may be either an O2 sensor. It's only reading in bank two. So that may be the O2 sensor. Um, or the, usually when it's the, usually when it's the mass airflow sensor uh, or mass air meter, uh, that will, you know, trigger both. Uh, right now, it's triggering just one. So I'm starting to think um, it, it could be many things. Um, one of the, you know, right now, I think it could be the NO2 sensor going bad. It could also, it could be the mass air flow sensor. Or another thing that it could be is sometimes I think I've read that if the battery is starting to, um, to, 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 to become too low on its uh, level that it may shoot random codes. So that could be another issue. I'm gonna, I'm gonna reset this right now and um, we're gonna keep an eye on it. Uh, so right now, let me, let me go and see. I'm gonna read the other codes for the other, usually this is something different. Vehicle has no fault codes in that one. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna erase the codes for, we're gonna erase the codes for that one um, for that one code that's coming up as far as uh, being too rich. So we're gonna hit OK, turn on ignition, press OK to continue. Okay, that's pretty much it. That's how you clear it. So I'm gonna clear it and I'm gonna see if it comes back. Um, I'm gonna do some more troubleshooting if it does come back. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna check the battery level again because the battery Right now, I think the battery, last time I checked, it wasn't reading like it was, like it's really supposed to. Uh, so I'll do another follow-up um, with the battery also. But right now, this is just something that's popped up uh, to this, this morning, you know, as soon as I started the car, the check engine light came on. So I'm just checking, diagnosing, and um, most likely it's gonna be an O2 sensor if it's going bad or it's an issue with the battery. Um, that's my guess right now, and um, only time will tell. All right. Well, thank you for liking my video, subscribing, and um, I'll, I'll post a couple other ones uh, once I figure this out. I'm also posting a video soon regarding the, I replaced the, ba the uh, headlights on my father's uh, Mercedes E320 in 1998, and I did that with my daughter. So that'll be coming up soon, but uh, I just wanna thank all the subscribers. We're, a quarter of the way to the thousand subscribers that uh, YouTube requires. So I just want to thank everybody and go ahead and hit the notification bell, subscribe and like. Thanks.